Hey, what's up everybody? Brent from Brent Speed. Check it out, 2018 Mustang. You've been asking for it, so we put it on the dyno. Now, hey, this isn't gonna be a review on this car. I will do one of those in the future, but I wanna see what kind of power this car makes. It's an automatic, off the showroom floor with the 87 octane in it that was in it when the car was delivered. And then, let's overlay the graphs of this Gen 3 Coyote engine to the Gen 2, Gen 1, and let's even overlay over a three valve Mustang, and let's just see how much more power this car makes over prior years. Now that's the number I like to see. All right, 405 real horsepower, about 390 foot-pounds of torque. So this is officially the highest horsepower standard GT Mustang that we've had on the dyno. 2018, 87 octane, automatic. I think that's really good. I can't wait to overlay this over prior years to see how much of an improvement it is. We're also rating this at SAE. So when you watch videos, some people rate standard, some people do SAE. This is four or five of the tires, SAE. Let's flip the standard once. And just see what it goes to flip over standard and it says 414 rule horsepower and 402 foot pounds of torque and also this is only at 6,000 rpms we hit the factory speed limiter so we hit about 150 mile an hour on that pole car shut down about 6,000 rpms and it made 405 sae to the tires and this engine pulls all the way to 7,000 rpm or a little bit higher so it might have been a little bit more numbers there to have not a lot a little bit more i'm happy with that can't wait to overlay these let's do it right now all right when you look at this it's super impressive obviously we got the 18 mustang on here but i overlaid several other cars they're all automatics they're all off the showroom floor they all had 87 octane in them we have the three valve mustang automatic we did our 11 automatic mustang we have our 15 automatic mustang and then the 18. it's really cool when you look at these overlays to see the kind of power difference over the years of the improvement you know the 18 mustang engine it's 12 to 1 compression now it's direct injected uh, it has higher flow heads, has better camshafts. We knew it was going to be the highest one on here, but check this out. So back in the three valve days, automatic, 256 rear wheel horsepower and 282 foot pounds of torque. Now, back when that car came out, that was pretty awesome. You're like, okay, cool. We have a three valve Mustang. It was like the newest thing. You know, one of those cars off the showroom floor might have been like a high 13 second car bone stock. And then we go into the Coyote. So when the 11 Coyote came out, we're like, killer. You know, we almost have like 100 more horsepower. Check it out. 343 real horsepower through the automatic and about 347 foot-pounds of torque. When that engine came out, again, we're like, oh, this is the best thing ever. A lot of power, a lot of torque. The cars were fast. I know when I got my first automatic Coyote, I think with 87 octane in it and just a tune on it on the factory wheels and tires, it ran 1270 in the quarter mile. So I think that's cool. Then the S550 comes out. So 15 automatic, boom, 363 rear wheel horsepower, 351 foot-pounds of torque. Again, a better breathing engine, some better induction design on it, more power, and now we have the 18 with 404 rear wheel horsepower, 393 foot-pounds of torque. So if you look at this, from the three valve days to now, we're almost 150 more rear wheel horsepower. And if you look at this graph, the bottom graph is obviously going to be the three valve. The highest graph is the new 18 Mustang. That's a huge, huge difference. Now I realize we're not even comparing, you know, apples to apples here. This is just to show how over the years Ford has done a really good job of improving our Mustangs. The engines have gotten better. And then even the new 18 engine, it's really awesome. I cannot wait to start tearing this car apart. I can't wait to actually get some good fuel in it. We still have the 87 in there that came in it when it got off the truck. Put some 93 in the car, make more power, do calibration, start modding it. It's gonna be a fun, fun car to race because off the showroom floor, it's really fast and it's gonna be a really fun car to improve. So thanks for watching, please subscribe. This is Brent Speed TV and leave a comment. Maybe uh, leave a comment about your Mustang. I'd love to hear about it. Have any questions, leave them. We'd be happy to answer. Thanks again for watching.